Hello friends, welcome to a Get Fit Club. We are here with another one informative session about the anal manometry. We are having expert Dr. Rupali. She is a gastrophysiologist. She is working as a full-time gastrophysiologist in Kaizen Gastro Care. And anal manometry is one of the GI physiological tests. We will understand about it from the expert. Dr. Rupali, what is exactly means the anal manometry? Uh, anal manometry is uh, basically advanced uh, GI diagnostic test. In this, we will uh, come to know about the pressure changes into the rectum and anal canal. And uh, along with the knowing pressure changes, we will also come to know about the coordination between the rectum and anal canal. That means it's an understanding about the physiology of the anal canal by using the machine. How does exactly procedure done here in the Kaizen Gastro Care? Uh, procedure is very simple and non painful. With the help of one uh, catheter which is 30.5 mm, which has uh, balloon and some sensors uh, attached to it, so that uh, catheter is passed into the rectum through the anal canal and we will come to know the pressure changes uh, through the instrument on the TV screen. Here we ask for some of the manual to be done by the patients like uh, squeezing of the anal canal and then pushing uh, efforts of the room uh, normally in the defecation. Then some, uh, with the help of that balloon, we put some air into the rectum and we will come to know uh, about how is the volume capacity of the rectum. So these are some of the things which we usually uh, do in the procedure of anal manual. That means anal manometry is a simple test and which is painless, need not to fear about the anal manometry. What precaution do you suggest for someone getting the anal manometry? Is there any specific precaution like fasting nothing is needed? Uh, there are no major uh, precautions which are required for the anal manometry, uh, not even the fasting. So patient can have a light food if he is uh, planning to do it in the morning. Patient can even get it done in the evening hours after lunch also. Only required thing is uh, the bowel uh, has to be cleaned either uh, with the natural uh, uh, process of defecation or we can administer enema before the procedure if the uh, bowel is uh, really needed. What is exactly indication of doing anal manometry in GI diseases? So anal manometry is basically uh, recommended or indicated in uh, patients who are suffering from chronic constipation and also from the uh, fecal incontinence. In case of chronic constipation, uh, almost one third of the patient actually suffer from dyssynergic defecation or uh, from the obstructive defecation syndrome and uh, this uh, cannot be picked by any other modalities. So this will be picked with the help of uh, the anal manometry and uh, these are the patients which cannot be uh, benefited with the help of laxative so they will require this for diagnosis as well as for the therapy in case of biofeedback for the chronic constipation and for fecal incontinence uh, we will come to know about the uh, which uh, muscle or which sphincter is exactly which and we can help by biofeedback for strengthening. So these are some of the indications like the chronic constipation and fecal incontinence. That means prior days it used to be colonoscopy and after that people used to be on the laxative there was no modality. Means this advancement of manometry exactly they can understand what is happening and accordingly you can do a biofeedback therapy. What exactly you do in biofeedback therapy? Biofeedback therapy is basically a simple therapy. It is uh, not like some surgery or uh, putting on some medication. It is basically retraining the normal process of uh, defecation uh, to the brain by reinforcing it by some visual or some auditory stimulus. So here the aim of biofeedback therapy for chronic constipation is uh, to focus more on anal relaxation and in case of fecal incontinence uh, the focus will be more on strengthening the anal uh, strengthening. So uh, and some other uh, modalities are also available depending upon the cause or dyssynergia you can advise the biofeedback therapy. That means for the chronic constipation, if having chronic constipation not getting corrected, which can be diagnosed on anal manometry and also it can be corrected by giving biofeedback by anal manometry machine. That's what you mean to say. Uh, thank you for this video and we will see few of other things in gastrophysiology in upcoming videos.